One, two. David Mazie was paralyzed for seven years until one of Switzerland's leading neurosurgeons gave him a spinal implant that changed his life. Here he is training with it a year ago. When the device is turned off, he can't move. When it's on, he continues to walk. This little device that is an impulse generator is uh, giving impulses to the electrode that is located on the spinal cord. Stim on. David can control the stimulation remotely through his watch. When it's on, he's able to walk more than half a mile. I think you've got to try to do the impossible, to make the possible possible. And I think we're doing that and uh, it feels good. Nerves in the spinal cord send signals from the brain to the legs. In someone who's paralyzed, there's usually a small signal, but it's too weak to create movement. The implant boosts the signal, activating muscles in the legs. The scientist who developed the technique says the implant even seems to help repair damaged nerves. Nerve fibers are growing again so that they are reconnected the brain to the spinal cord. Doctors are working to make the stimulation more comfortable for patients like David so they can keep the device active all the time. While this research shows paralysis can be reversed to some degree, the question remains by how much. Tina Krause, CBS News.